Good morning, love crew. Blessings I send to you. I'm hearing the song. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of our Lord. Most high. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. And they are saved. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it. And they are saved. Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Hey, I've come to tell you today that it's been a long, what seemed like a long losing battle, but God is going to turn it around in the last minute and give you the victory, complete victory over the situation. You could be having a problem with somebody. You could have been having a problem with somebody, anybody in your life. It could have been your partner, could be a family member, could be friends, could be co-workers. It could just be anybody, your neighbor neighbor okay and it could have seemed like a long losing battle back and forth like this is not going to give yeah you're gonna have to do something unholy to win this thing yeah yeah seems like you've been going back and forth with legal proceedings and nothing is given nothing is coming out in your favor and you just were so convinced that this is never going to end this is just going to have to i think i'm just going to have to get used to the fact that this is a problem in my life this is a thorn in my side yeah god has told me to come he has given me the victory in my situation so that i can come and tell you guys that you are going to get the victory just when you fought just when it has just gotten worse like it just literally started put it's been a long losing battle that you felt like it was but at this moment it just erupted and it's take it's gone to another notch it's gone up to another notch where you thought wait hold on it's getting worse now it's getting worse and you thought you know what all hope is gone then because if this is getting worse then you can't see how it's going to get better what well, i've come to tell you that it's only getting worse because this is where it's going to break the enemy the devil is fighting you through. the spirit of the devil is fighting you through people that you love it could be your friends family co-workers neighbors I don't care who it is, it is the spirit of the devil fighting you through those people and he's about to take it up to a whole nother notch or he has already, you've actually, you're experiencing it right now that he's taking it up to a whole nother level right now because he has to let go, he has to take his hand off of your life he has to take his hand off of your home, he has to take his hands off of your children he has to take his hands off of your finances, he has to take his hands off of all your legal stuff right now and he is throwing a tantrum he's throwing a tantrum he said all right before i leave i'm gonna hit you hard i've come to tell you don't lose faith and don't lose hope do not lose hope because he's got to go now he's being evicted hallelujah <laughs> he's being evicted right now and he's throwing a tantrum what did you expect that he was going to leave quietly did you think things were going to break quietly easily and quickly no i've come to remind you don't lose faith don't give up on god you can you can put all the questions you like to him put all your questions you like to him but don't give up don't lose your faith and stand your ground okay just like the song said <laughs> the name of the lord is a mighty strong tower and you can run into it and you will be safe so in those moments where it feels like it's just beyond 
hopeless. Those moments where you feel like, you know what? I, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to pray right now. I really don't know what's going on. He is your strong tower. He is the place where you can just go and rest in him. Just go and ask your questions. Put your questions to him. Just go and lie with him and just say, God, you know what? I've got no more fight. I've got nothing to say. I, I just, I just don't know what's going on. He is that person that you can do that with. Don't feel ashamed to have, don't feel ashamed to ask him questions. Don't feel ashamed to just be like, God, I'm feeling hopeless. I'm feeling trapped. I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling targeted. I'm feeling victimized. Let him know, give him your worries and your cares and he will take care of them. He will take them from you and he will deal with it because the battle is not ours. It is his. But when we feel like it is ours, we don't want to chat to him about it. We're like, yeah, walking around in ego. Like, you know what? I got this doing little things, little backhanded things, little egotistical things. And still claiming that, yeah, no, God's got... No, you're taking it into your own hands. Step back, give it to him, tell him your worries and your cares and step back back and let him deal with it because he is but when he does be prepared for the tantrum of the devil okay he's going to turn it up like fire on you to try to get you to just denounce god denounce your faith in god in that last minute if he can get you to do that he will feel good because then he can put his hands further on you his hands further on your children on your household on your finances on in your on your job on your business on your happiness and your joy and your peace so be prepared for that tantrum and when he has that tantrum just sit back and kick back and smile and say yeah okay god is doing it god is doing it but i'm telling you i'm here to remind you that even in in that losing battle in what seems that losing battle long losing battles for you guys that have been going through something back and forth for a while for a long time you've been going back and forth with this person with this thing i'm i'm i'm, I'm driven to say court proceedings you've been going back and forth and you have just literally convinced yourself consciously or subconsciously that you're just going to be doing this for the rest of your life you're trying to figure out how much strength you've got to do this for the rest of your life god has told you fear not behold i have come to give you victory in this situation it doesn't matter if it seems like a long losing battle. it doesn't matter if people have told you you know what Mm, the way this usually goes this is your expected outcome he knows your expected end and he's you're, he's bringing you to victory he's giving you the victory in the situation over those people over that fight over that argument he's giving you this the victory over that court proceeding okay so be glad have faith in god and give him the praise in advance speak about that situation directly and give him the praise in advance say god thank you so much for making the favor go making it go in my favor in my finances making it go in my favor in my workplace even though my boss has been coming down hard on me, he wants to fire me, she wants to fire me. Thank you for turning it around in my favor. Even though my children were going back and forth like they not listening to me, thank you for making the situation go in my favor. Give him the thanks in advance from now because I've come to give you that this word that you are going to receive the victory over this situation. And with that, I just want to give God all of the glory, all of the praise and all of the honour. And just want to thank him here in front of you guys for giving me the victory in my situation and bringing me to give you the collective this word. Because I know that it's going to bring you so much peace to finally put this battle to rest. It's going to give you so much peace in your life, so much possibilities.
in your mind, your vision will be clearer just to know that this is going to be, this is taken care of already in the spiritual realm and is coming to fruition in the physical realm. So with that, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you resonated with this message, if it touched you, it is for you. Make sure you show me you know how. And yes, just have a blessed day, guys. Blessed day. Don't let nothing steal your joy anymore from this day forward. It might strike you. It might hit you. Take you by surprise. But you see, after you process what's going on, turn it around. Turn your energy around. Turn your spirit around and say, you know what? I'm a child of God. He made me the head and not the tail. He made me above and never beneath. He made me more than a conqueror. So it doesn't mean that I'm not going to go through nothing. There will be battles. But he said that I will be the conqueror of those battles. I will conquer those battles. I will conquer those situations. I will conquer those feelings. Okay? So just be encouraged. You will go through things. Things will rise up against you. But they will not prosper. They will not stand. They will not last. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the blood that was shed on Calvary. Stay blessed guys. I love you lot. I honestly truly love you lot. And welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you for joining the love crew. I pray that I will continue to bless you. That God will continue to bless you. Through the word and the way that he uses me. Right. Take care. Bye.